Okay, so I hit 30 subscribers in two years. That's like the worst milestone in existence. I mean, I'm only doing this video because everyone would be like, Yo, Tom! Where's the new video? I thought you were gonna do a 30 subscriber special. Now, honestly, I don't really care about subscriber specials. Yet I used to because I remember, like, I know that I think a year ago I did a five subscriber special and I did a face reveal and I sort of like I, I sort of got rid of that video because I really don't want my face on the internet in f until I do reach a certain milestone. Uh, the milestone is probably going to be around maybe 1k, which yes, it may seem a lot, but I'll try to upload more frequently, try to get more up views, like the latest Big Chungus video I did, it got, I think, it got around 100 views in four days, which is pretty bad for like big YouTubers like PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, Shane Dawson, people like that. And the thing is, I am only, I only have 30 subscribers, and the thing is, because pretty much when you have a lower sub count, it's a lot easier, you know, to just make you'll feel a lot more happy to hit a certain milestone, even if you can't consider it a milestone, because barely anyone would watch your videos. So, it's for me, it's been a fun ride just watching the sub count go up like once a month or something, because that's literally what it feels like. But still, just to achieve 30, you still know that there's people who enjoy watching your content like it's a little weird to think about because there's people who don't even know a, like they you don't even know them in person and then like suddenly out of nowhere they're subscribed to you and it's just this cool thing i remember getting like this uh yeah i'll have to look it up here but yeah, I remember getting a like on one of my videos, and it was one of the coolest things I have ever experienced. Even though that I don't even have much of a good channel or anything, I still get decent subscribers. Like... I probably shouldn't celebrate my 30 subscriber video when I'm pretty sure I don't even have like half a hundred. That's pretty sad. And the thing is, it's going to be sad because most people's YouTube channels are never going to be popular, and that's the thing. There, I've literally seen YouTube channels that are like 10 years old and don't and don't even have a single uh, subscriber on their channel, which is the thing, because I think- I like to think of YouTube as a type of video game where you have to post or say the right things and it will get you more points, so the amount of views on your video are how much points you actually own or have. And it may be a little far-fetched, but it's something that I just really enjoy to hear that some people actually like my videos, and that's where all the views are. Now, of course, my channel's not doing good, and it's probably in its, like, right beside its coffin right now, just, like, waiting to take a leap in if I ever quit YouTube. But I don't want- I'm, I don't think I'll quit YouTube anytime soon. I just want to see where I will be headed until, well, I get to maybe a hundred. Because even though that I'm a very, very unpopular YouTube channel, I am still very excited to see that people actually went out of their day to watch my videos, subscribe, and it's something really cool. 
one of my biggest inspirations on YouTube was someone who commented on a, on my video. Check out the YouTube channel. It's called Reasoning Behind. Of course, they're doing ten times better than I ever will. But the but yeah, Reasoning Behind left this comment that was very sweet and dear to my heart. And it said, You have an awesome channel. Huge inspiration for my channel. Keep up the good work. I only just started YouTube, so I would love it if you could come check out my channel. And that was on one of my terrible videos that maybe only got 46, I think, views last time I checked. And, like, even though that this person's 10 times better than me, they still will watch my videos. And I do have a, a certain goal on my channel that I really want to achieve, and that's for Justin Y to comment on one of my videos. If you don't know who Justin Y is, he's someone that a lot of people know about where you've probably seen someone in a ninja outfit comment on a video and their username's Justin Y. And if you do, that is the famous Justin Y. I want him to comment on one of my YouTube videos because that would be very cool to just see, right? Because he, even though he never uploaded in his life, I believe, and I'm pretty sure he's never uploaded, and if he has, he's just deleted all the videos, but, but, just to think about my channel, and that it's pretty dead, even though it's not dead, I always, like, feel like- Cause whenever my channel usually gets, uh, even just one subscribers, one subscriber, I still feel very happy because it's just cool to see someone comment on your video saying keep up the good work or good job, even though that I only have very little subscribers on my channels right next to, to the graveyard. It's still cool to see where this YouTube roller coaster is heading. Now, once I get older, or maybe when I turn 18 in 7-ish years, if I'm still doing YouTube by then, I'm not gonna do YouTube full-time most likely. This is only- I only upload videos because it's fun. I genuinely just do YouTube for fun. It's nothing that I really necessarily have to do. Now, I could live a totally normal life without making YouTube videos, and I'd be the same. But the only thing is, YouTube's actually been a pretty big inspiration for my life because I have people who support me, even though it's just maybe 20 people or so. It's still pretty cool because... Most people usually feel scared about getting a YouTube channel at the start and treat everything terribly and say that their channel is junk, which theoretically my, ch my channel is pretty bad, but don't always feel unmotivational about your YouTube channel. Because even though you have very little subscribers, it doesn't mean that no one watches your channel. You can still have fans at a very low sub count because there's a channel that I'm that I've that I like called Gaming with Aslan, and they only have like 200 subscribers as the time I, that I'm making this video, and they still have fans that watch his videos and go take the, the day off to watch them. Because even though you may have like even just under a hundred subscribers. You're still a YouTuber in this sense, if you upload at least. So, I just have to thank you all for taking your time to click on this long ass video. Just to hear what I have to say about stuff. And I guess this is a 30 sub special, but it's not really anything special. So, yeah, I'm Tom No Stuff, signing out. Peace.